Hi guys, today I would like to cover what is a survey, what does a survey look like, and what kind of information you can find. So when you go to purchase a property, if you have a loan, it is required by the bank to have a survey. So this is a sample survey. And basically what it's going to show is the property lot lines and basically where it's going to show the markers of your property in comparison to the house, to any structures, in comparison to the street, etc. So again, this is a requirement if you have a loan. If you're purchasing the house cash, you it's optional. Um, if you are purchasing a property where the seller already has one, you are welcome to use their survey and save some money. So in this example, my client was purchasing this property, lot 41. And if you notice, this survey does not have the Lanai extension that is existing there. So my buyer decided to get a new survey to make sure that the Lanai that was done was done within the property boundaries and they wanted an updated survey um, for themselves. So that's what we did. But this was the survey that was provided to us by the seller, which was great because it allowed us to see where the property, this is the back of the home, this is the front of the home and the driveway. And it allowed us to see how much approximately what the distance of the back of the lanai to the back of the property is and it allowed us to see you know the distance between the lot and the actual home so it's very useful information this survey will be required when you do certain home improvements such as a fence a pool lanai anything that requires um let's say anything that you're going to do with a permit the contractor that you're hiring will be asking you for a survey so that they can make sure that it's within your property boundaries. The other good reason to have a survey is because if you're purchasing a property and anything that is done on the property, let's say a fence, you want to make sure that it was done properly and not over here, let's just say encroaching on your neighbor's uh, land. Um, if that's the case, you know, that's something that you would want to get addressed prior to closing. So those are one of the reasons, many of the reasons why a survey is extremely useful. What you will notice on the survey is that on the top, it's not here. I've taken it out to protect my client's privacy. But on the top, it's going to have the information of the owner of the survey. It's going to show um, the location of the home, the legal description of the home. And it's also going to describe the lot area and um in this case, this is a villa, so it's going to show both of the attached uh, villas, okay? Um, the other thing, it's going to show you if there's any easements. So if you look at the bottom here, on the lower left, it tells you what the acronyms stand for. So if you're wanting to know what, um, let's say, for example, UE stands for, you know that that's a, a utility easement. Um, so you know that if you're going to build anything on that, area one you might not be able to because there's a utility easement on there okay and then there's other descriptors here that you need to also reference that are going to be extremely important like a water meter um, that type of stuff okay the other thing that you're going to notice is that it's going to have the the directional of the compass north south east and west so if it's important for your clients you know, they can use this as reference as well. Of course, we have Google Maps, but um, in this case, my clients wanted to know where the sun sets and how that is relative to the backyard that they're going to be enjoying. Okay, um, so this is a, a legal survey um, that they will receive at closing. They will get certified copies. It's going to have a stamp here on the lower right hand corner and it's going to have the information of the engineering, the surveyors that did the work scope. You'll receive multiple copies and you'll also receive an electronic version of it. Um, this is extremely, extremely important also when you are purchasing land, vacant land, because um, people are going to use this 
to find out the size of the home that fits on that land and how they can fit the land um, relative, I mean, excuse me, the house relative to the land, especially if they're adding septic tanks or wells or additional auxiliary buildings. Um, there you go. So give you another, tells you what's currently there, tells you where the HVAC is located and so forth. All right. I hope this was helpful.